All right. I know my camera froze up. I think there it goes. There it is. What's up, guys? All right. I know my camera froze up. Gotta turn my mic down. I um I know there's not gonna get that many views on on this page, but like I said, everything starts. I remember when I started the the House of Rest YouTube channel was in 2000, 2010. It was a very long time ago, and um, I put up a sermon or whatever, and it would get like three views, and one of them was me because I would rewatch it to make sure it came out right. So um. But everything has to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere, you know. And uh, so, oh, Robert, hey, how's it look on that 4K TV? Because even though this is the old camera, I did find better settings. The other, the newer camera at the church, I think is looks better. But this one, I was able to bump this one up to 1080p at 30 frames a second. The one at the church is 60 frames a second, but now they're both 1080p, so hopefully it looks good. And I got the lights. We got the lights that we use for the devotionals, so um, it looks a lot brighter now in this dining room. Because usually when I would paint, it's kind of hard painting because uh, these lights aren't that bright here in the dining room. So it just looks a lot better now, I think, I hope, you know. So um, I'm going to continue on the trees. Everything's dry, so I'm going to put more layers on those trees, it gives them more dimension. But yeah, I'm really happy how it's coming out. I have my tablet and my phone, one on Facebook, one on YouTube, so I can see the comments. <clears throat> Robert, really glad you guys are feeling better. Hopefully, um, your wife is feeling better. So... I, find, I found that black, the one I was looking for yesterday. It was on the other side of the drawer. That's why I couldn't find it. But I'm glad I didn't use black. I was going to put a little bit of black in here, but I'm glad I, I didn't. So. Here's that green. Always maybe need white for something. Raw umbers, brown. This this tree looks a little light, so I'm gonna add some dark to that. It looks too light. I wanted it lighter than this one, but it's too light. It it looks unfinished. And um, you know what? I'm gonna take all my paints out instead of having a twist and turn I have all my paints in this so I can look for my greens oh this might be good Ross give a little brown to some of the leaves here's sap green I'm gonna be using that Angelica good morning I just thought I'd go online I know some people are at home um, some are not feeling well, some are just quarantined, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to just go live and if somebody's interested, they're interested, you know, they'll pop on. Yeah, so I think that's good for now. Yesterday, I layered all the leaves on these trees with really dark green. Trees you got to do in layers. So now I'm going to do a little bit lighter, not this light, but a little lighter and do that and do each one a little different. Anthony De La Garza, what's up brother, how you doing? Stephanie Jones, Fort Worth, Texas, man it's been so many years since I've been in Texas. Let me see, I'm saying hello to those that are watching on this other on Facebook so this is what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna attempt to finish this but 
Actually, I'll probably finish it except this bottom corner. I don't know if you can see this, but this is supposed to be like a little, uh, like a little tunnel with bricks, like a, for for water to travel from this side to this side because there's water. Uh, that's gonna take its own session because each brick I want to do separately. But other than that, um, I'm gonna finish this up, get all these leaves. So like I was saying yesterday, Jose, thank you, brother. Um, trees you gotta do in layers so I'm using green this is what I'm putting it on my daughter got this for me for Christmas I had another one but it was getting old so I'm gonna put green I'm gonna put a little bit because I'm gonna use a different shade of green on each tree that way it separates it so I'm gonna work on on this one right here in the corner and I'm gonna add Turner's yellow. And what happened to that little plastic thing I used to? Huh, where'd it go? To blend it. I don't know, but I got a bag of more. I use this to blend it. Sometimes if I'm lazy, I just blend my paint with a brush, but it's not good for your brushes when you mix, because then it gets into the bristles and anyways, I'm mixing this. Let's try to get a, a light. Oh yeah, that's nice. A little bit lighter green. I'm not using it all. I'm leaving that dark part there, but and it's all right if it's not too bright because the third layer will be even brighter. So I drop this in the water so it don't dry on it. I go back to my. Um... You know what? I'm gonna use a really small this brush here this is a straight brush with the two edges and I'm gonna just dab basically start dabbing a little bit here and there to start giving it some kind of dimension you know I don't want to cover what I did yesterday I'm not sure if you can see that because it's a little it's a little close to it. I just need a wig. <laughs> you guys get the little Oh, he's talking to uh yeah, they they, they took the baby home already. That'd be funny if I did do this with the wig. That'd be crazy. So I'm just dabbing this tree, adding some more dimension to it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of brown for this tree because I want to separate the trees in their shade just a slightly. That way it's a slightly different green. Because each tree, when you go out to the woods, man, each tree is actually a different color green if you really look at them. A lot of times we think, oh, it's just a green tree, but no. Nah. There's different shades of green. So for this light brown tree, I'm still going to fix the coloring on it. I'm going to make those. I'm going to mix a little bit of brown in it just so it makes it a different shade. Oh, it's coming out like a like an army green. Like an olive. That's cool. 
using the same brush. I didn't even clean it because it has the same fill. You're not going to be able to tell this on the camera. But like I said, it's all about layers. Once you add this and then other shades, it's going to actually make it. Because every tree, again, you look at every tree, where the sun is hitting it is a different green than the shade side, than the middle. And in each tree individually, some I mean, each leaf sometimes are different colors from each other. There's, I mean, just variant, you know. You know, for that closer one, I'm going to use a bigger brush. A little bit bigger here. John 316, Mr. Hernandez, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining in. This is fun. Sometimes I usually, if Sharon's not here, I just sit here and paint with myself. It gets boring sometimes, honestly. Okay. Oh, Beth, um, I actually am sending him, the soldier, guys, if you guys don't know, I painted a soldier back in 2009 when I was in prison. USA Today had this soldier on the cover. He was in Iraq. And um, in prison, I would always look for things to paint because obviously I can't leave. So I would paint things I saw in National Geographic. I'll go through magazines, newspapers, just to find something to paint. And there was this really cool article it was during the Iraq war and had this soldier and um, I painted it it was my last painting before I released in 2009 I was gonna go to the halfway house and um, I sent it to my brother as a gift and now that I sell a lot of prints of my paintings my brother was like a couple months ago he's like hey you should make a print of that soldier painting and I'm like that's right, I forgot about it. Can I see it? And he still had it in the envelope. I sent it to him, and it was a soldier painting. And I didn't realize on the back of the painting, because the article said the name of the soldier, his regiment, his, his, his branch, everything. I didn't realize I wrote that on the back. So I was on a mission to find the soldier. And long story short, I found him, spoke to him. He came home safe. I didn't even know if he made it home. You know, he made it home. I got a hold of his grandmother, his mom. Um, and then I finally talked to him. So, it was really cool talking to him, you know. And actually meeting this guy that I had painted so long ago. So, I literally on my couch today, i um, sending him uh, a copy. Obviously, I'm blessing him with it. I, I, can't, I can't sell him a painting of himself. Um, I would just told them that I was proud of him. I'm glad he came home. And, um, and I'm actually going to send a print to him, to his grandmother, and to his mother. You know, and uh, it was cool because Gavino, you guys know Gavino does all my frames. He makes all the custom frames. And when I told him, I said, hey, I need to get this one framed. Um, I said, this is for the soldier. This is going to go to him. You know, he goes... Um, he goes, you're, you're going to give it to him? I said, yeah, I'm not going to sell it to him. He goes, well, then I'm not going to charge you for the frame either. And he donated the frame and built the frame for it, for the soldier. So actually, I'm literally mailing that out today. So, yeah, I'm mailing it to him today, man. And you know what's cool about it? is that he friend requested me on Facebook and he's actually watched some of the sermons. He's not a Christian or anything. And he goes, he didn't even know they were called sermons. He's like, hey, I, I saw some of your speech things you did. 
you know, and uh, <laughs> man, that's so cool. So, okay, so now I'm gonna work on this big tree and I'm gonna switch up the green a little bit. I think I'm gonna add more yellow to it. Yeah, Brother Anthony, it, it is gener, you know, how, how, what more, how could I charge a man that went to fight for our freedom? Regardless of the politics behind it, regardless of what people feel about it, you know, these guys go and risk their lives. Okay, so I'm just mixing it a little bit. Oh, you know what, where's that other brush I used yesterday? I like that one. This one. Let me drop drop this in water. I have a jar. It has a little thing in the bottom, like little nubs on it, and it just kind of has a suction on the bottom, so I'm able to... If acrylic dries in your brush, you'll ruin it. Acrylic turns into a hard plastic. And if you leave it in the water, that's not good for your brush either. So whenever you use a brush, Dip it in water, dry it off, put it to the side. People that do oil painting, that's different because oil takes a long time to dry. But acrylic, man, you'll ruin your brushes and brushes are not cheap. They make cheap brushes, but if you get some nice brushes, you don't want to ruin them. All right, so I'm going to use this one. Yeah, Reina, I agree. You say it's crazy how sometimes the people you least expect to want to hear about Jesus are the ones who listen. Those are the usually the ones that are hungry, hungry to hear something different. Christ gave freely. We should too. Amen. Heart Life Tony, what's up, brother? So, um, Christina Cardoza, I see you watching there. I'm not sure if you're still on, but hello if you are. Oh, dang. That's nice. I don't know if you guys can see that, but wow. Just wow. That's a nice texture there. Sometimes when you do trees, I'm going to give you this tip right now use an old brush that the bristles are blasted out because that's what's going to give texture each little tiny dot will start to look like leaves and this one is an old brush see how it's supposed to be flat it's supposed to be like this i don't know if you could tell how thin that is but see how it's blasted out but that's good don't throw those away horrible for portraits but man for trees perfect That looks really good. And I just, I'm just hitting the, 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 the tip of it, you know, I'm not brushing, you know, I'm just... Almost like, like, like sponging. But I don't do it all, I leave some parts dark because not everything hits, not everything hits sunshine. I mean, the sunshine doesn't hit every leaf, you know. So, um, Ms. Hernandez, um, prints of this is for purchase. This one is for sale. It's sold already. Matter of fact, this one was requested by somebody. This is actually a rendition of an older painting. Somebody had already painted this years and years ago. And his brother said, hey, can you paint this for me? Can you redo it in your style? Um, I don't... I don't really like to do that. I've done that with the one uh, Jesus holding that man. Somebody had requested for me to do that. But this one is sold, but I'm making 25 prints of it. But it's going to be half the size. It's going to be like half, but, you know, turn this way. And it's gonna, they're going to go for 225 and that's framed with a custom frame by Gavino. So, Robert, you can see it pop, brother? There it is. Bam. 
thinking that. It's just like, I'm, I'm still amazed, man, when, when you just do little stuff and it just pops. That's crazy. Okay, so now, let's see what you guys are saying. For trees, I love the passion you have for all you do. Yeah. So yeah, this print, the print is gonna be 225. It's gonna be custom framed with glass, plexiglass actually. And, and it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Each one I do, that way you get what number you have and that way you know it's limited. So it's, it's starting to look, right? So now, I'm grabbing a little, okay, this, I gotta show you what I'm doing. I'm grab. I'm pulling a little bit more yellow to brighten up what I just did. And now, with a little bit of yellow, I'm gonna hit some of the, some of the, see obviously the sun is coming from this way. We know that because you can see the sun here. And we can see the shade here. So if the sun is coming this way, guess which leaves are gonna be the brightest? The ones on the right side. So now, look, I'm adding little yellow highlights on the right side where I think the sun would maybe bleed through man that looks cool so How can we get one? Um, if you really, if you want one, email me at davidrochaart at gmail.com. I already have somebody, somebody else wants one. So that person has already got dibs on the number one print. But if, if you want, um, let me write it here, David. There. Email me. If you email that to me, let me know you're interested. Because I'm going to finish this. I'm, I'm hoping to, to take it in tomorrow so I can get prints made and I'll have prints next week. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be, like I said, 225 custom framed with a certificate of authenticity. Okay. Wow. That's looking good. I like that. Um... I was planning on painting something with Joseph Sis. I'm just adding a little bit more yellow where I already did. Because I um, sometimes when it dries, when acrylic dries, it gets darker a little bit. So, man, that looks really good. Sal, thank you, brother. Chicano 575 Ortiz. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Adam, God bless you. If it, you know, so. Man, I really appreciate you guys coming in. Keeping me company, because. Whoo. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to highlight some of these back here, but I'm going to change it. Because I don't, I want this to look yellowish. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that mix so the, the, so the highlights on those trees look a little different. So it separates the trees. So I added white. I'm probably not going to use all that white. I'm just going to pull a little bit of that white, add it to this yellow. Pull a little white, add it to that yellow. And just start highlighting this stuff a little bit. Just putting highlights here and there just to give us some depth. I'm 
I'm not using the smaller brush because I'm just barely tapping it with this one. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling like see these this tree has this big tree has a lot of leaves on the right side and then it goes nothing over there so I'm thinking of adding some that way alright how much to fly you to Boston and come paint my living room <laughs> looks like late August well actually since this would be the walk to May has happened right after Jesus was crucified. This would be sometime in the spring. Yeah, because uh, you know the Passover is when uh, March, April, around there, the Jewish Passover. And after the third day of him rising, he'd be walking with these two gentlemen. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, let me see how does it look on here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to add this this is bugging me. It, this should be a little darker. I'm going to fill in that tree, the brown on it. I'm going to use raw umber, which is just really brown, looks like coffee grounds. And uh this one this is a filbert brush you can't tell it looks like a little they call it a, I call it a cat tongue it looks like a little cat tongue watch let me show you a bigger one so you can see it on the camera like this see how it's round it's not it's not a um, like the other one so I'm gonna get a little bit of this raw umber and where the shade would be on this tree look I don't take a long time man don't overthink it Obviously, if the sun is hitting on this side, it's going to be darker on this side. So certain parts. Don't want to overthink stuff. You don't want to overthink stuff or else it looks too mechanical when it's done. You know, people, if people want something to look like a photo, guess what? They'll just take a photo. When people want a painting, they want to see the brush strokes in it. I mean, at least I do. You know, the paintings I do. See how it starts to look dimensional already? What do you guys think? Just by adding a little bit of color to one side that's darker, it gives it that dimensional look. Like I said, I'm not even overthinking this. I'm just doing it. This side, this tree too. Let's add a little darkness there. It's all to the same side. That way it gives dimension of light. And then I think I'm going to make that brown a little darker even to even hit some of the dark parts I just did. I'm going to add a, a, like a touch of black. Black goes a really long way. I literally dabbed a, a dot of black. I'm going to mix that into this brown to get it real dark. And the parts I just made dark, I'm going to hit some of those parts with this dark. <laughs> Robert, you can tell? Of course, you can watch it on a 4K TV. A blank canvas, it depends. Um, I always look for sales. Michael's and Hobby Lobby, it's weird how they trade off. One week, one will be 50% off. 
And then the next week, the other one will be 50% off. But something like this, without a sale, could be an easy $35 to $50 for this canvas. But I actually found this canvas at Didi's, believe it or not. I think because during Christmas, they, they had a lot of art stuff so people could buy gifts. And I saw three of these for, I don't even remember. It was like $12 or $15. I grabbed all three. Okay, so now I'm going to add that darker, darker. I'm not doing everything I just did, but here and there. And it starts to look like, it starts to give like crevices and stuff to the tree. Like I said, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just kind of randomly doing different parts, man. And, uh, it's looking better now. Now I'm getting happier with this. I didn't like this tree. It was too light and it was bugging me. I used to overthink stuff and then what happens is you get this painting that looks way too thought out and mechanical. And I used to approach preaching like that too, believe it or not. I would write all these notes. My sermon would be like six pages and it would just mess it up, honestly. It would just, I'd, it'd be all, it would come out real choppy. So even with preaching, you know, a lot of the stuff I learn, you know, it's so even when I preach, I try to have the least amount of notes as possible. I just keep enough notes to keep me on track and that's it. The way I say it is, you know, do you know the line on the road when you go somewhere, there's a line every few feet. I used to preach like that. I wanted to know every line. And um, sometimes it's not fun getting in the car and saying, you know what, let's go on a spontaneous trip. But we got to follow this little line. Sometimes I like trips and me and Sharon will be like, you know what, where do you want to go? I don't know. Let's go east. Let's go west. It's good enough for me. We know the direction we're going. And all I need is a compass. I don't got to know every little road. And I approach preaching like that. I'm like, I don't need every little line because when I do every little line, I don't even I can't even see the scenery because I'm paying attention to every little line, every little street name, every little thing. Just tell me which direction to go and we'll go that way. And I approach preaching like that now and the same thing with painting. I don't want to know every little line. I'm not trying to make every little leaf perfect, every little line perfect because a camera does that so much better than I could ever do. So I might as well show the brush strokes, you know. Uh, Ronnie, what's up, man? I see you're watching. I'm not sure if you're still on there. Christina, it looks good darker. Thank you. Pooh Bear, <laughs> Pooh Bear needs to be somewhere to stash the honey. That's a good one. Uh, I can't draw a straw figure without it looking crooked. Even crooked sticks draw a straight line. Just look at me, Lecrae. Cool. <clears throat> so you guys get what I'm saying. So you know how we added the highlights to the right side? I feel like I gotta add a little bit of highlights to this tree because if the sun is hitting this tree, especially this exposed parts, it's gonna be like a hint of of sunlight there. So I'm grabbing some of the white and some of that brown. Oh, it looks like I already did it, but I'll just add a little bit more. Just sporadically, not too much. Wherever maybe the sunlight might bleed to. You know, the beauty of acrylic is if you don't like it, you just paint over it. I kind of don't like that. I think I did too much. So I'm grabbing some more regular brown. And uh, there it is. That's better. Cool. 
I'm gonna wash the brown off that brush. Thanks, Jose. Man made bridges, God made valleys and mountains. Amen. Clean my brushes. You always want to clean your brushes, because especially with acrylic paint, because it'll mess them up, man. Nice and dry. This one's still in the water, so let me get it out. The one I was using for the trees. Get that out. You know what I noticed is, uh, I want to add kind of overgrowth in the bottom of the trees. So I'm going to get my fan brush. And grabbing some of that green and white and yellow. And uh, look at that, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it starts to add like little flowers or little whatever they are, weeds growing up. Dang. That's tight. Different brushes will add different demand. You just got to use the right brush. A lot of times people say, man, I don't know how to paint. You know, every time I try to do this or do that, and I'm like, maybe you're using the wrong brush. Let the brush do the texture. Bring some of these down here. Maybe some a little bit here. I don't want to do too much there. Okay, that looks cool. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Sister Lisa, good morning. Okay. So, am I happy? What do I need? Oh yeah, I was going to fill in some more over there. Let's do that. So this is what I'm going to do. This tree, this big tree, all the leaves I notice are on this side. There's nothing going that way. I think I'm going to just kind of extend it that way or something. Because I'm not liking that. So I'm going to put a big old branch from this tree going that way. I'm going to add a branch uh, right here. Just add a branch to that tree. It don't have to be perfect because a lot of this is going to be covered with leaves. So cool. Let me wash that brush. You gonna go do some grocery shopping? Cool, man. Get baby food, but don't eat it yourself. Okay. Sayla and Zephy, is that how, am I saying it right? Say, tell them I said hello, uh, Tony. So, while that branch is drying, what else could I be doing here? Let's see. Just finishing up this painting. There's going to be 25 prints available of it next week. Custom frame by Gavino. They're going to be 225 each. And it comes with a certificate of authenticity. In case anybody's jumping in and is wondering. Hopefully everybody's keeping safe out there. So many people are sick. Okay. 
I'm still waiting for that to dry, but what could I do? What could I do here? What do you guys see? I really like the way that turned out. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna. Where's that yellow? I'm gonna add a little more highlight. Adding highlights, guys. I don't know. I put a little tiny bit of white on top of these. Looking. Little touch of white here and there gives it that extra little pop. Yeah. Oh, they heard it <laughs> so this is the channel that I'm gonna be doing that painting class we're doing a family paint night um, this week maybe today we're gonna make the flyer pick a date it'll be in an evening or in a weekend probably that way more people can participate or either a Friday or a Saturday I gotta talk to Sharon and um, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to get which paints to get with brushes to get I'm gonna keep it very simple and it's gonna be a just a, it's gonna be a, it's not gonna be something like this and be something you'll be able to do you know and it's more about just doing it together as a family I'll be on, streaming online and it, maybe it'll be an, a one hour class not too crazy not too long where um, you know uh, if you have children they're not gonna get bored and it'll be a way smaller canvas and so, but I'll tell you exactly which colors to get, what brushes to get, what t what size canvas to get. But it's going to be on this YouTube channel because um, I'm trying to build this one up with art. That way, the other one can be sermons and Bible studies and whatnot, and this one could be for art. So, um, yeah, Adam, thank you, man. Appreciate that. And now we got our lights. So I have the lights here, so it makes it brighter. I don't know if you've ever seen the other videos I do. I kind of hesitate to do a lot of the videos before because it was so dark in here. And it made the colors of the painting not pop and look right. But now I'm happy with the way it's looking. I'm going to, um, it's drying a little bit, but it's, it's drying enough. So I'm going to start adding some leaves here. So let me, um. I gotta first remember lay the dark green first, shadows first. So I'm using sap green and a little bit of raw umber to make it dark. And where's that dark green at? Pull up my bag here. Here, oh look at that. I'm gonna have to go grab another one today. I probably have one though. I have extras in the drawer. But if I don't, I need this one because I use this one a lot. So the reason I'm using this three paints to mix is to get a real dark green. That's the first layer I use for trees. Okay. Remember I get that white one. Oh, wait, I got to mix them first. So these three colors, I want to mix them to get a real dark, dark green. That'll be the undercoating for all the leaves. This is green, dark green, and raw umber, that brown. 
Look at that, it's real dark. It looks almost black. So, I'm just gonna darken all this up. Okay, I know that looks real darker from that, but that's always supposed to look until we start layering it. Huh, I wonder if I should add a little more darks. No, that's the same color, dark. Okay, so now I'm waiting for that to dry. Thank you, Sister Lisa. Sister Lisa's on a, on Facebook watching. So, well, guys, I think I'm stuck now with nothing else to do because I, I got to wait for that to dry. The reason I wait for it to dry is because if I start trying to put yellows and stuff in it, it'll just mix with that and it'll turn, it'll muddle it, like muddy it up. So I got to wait for that to dry before I start doing highlights like I did here. Uh, but other than that, and this bottom piece I told you about that I got to do a whole session just for that because there's going to be bricks here, it's finished. So it's not too far. I don't know if you guys noticed too, but I purposely didn't use any white. I only use white, like pure white. You know, I know I mix white with stuff, but pure white just on the robe of Jesus and these clouds. That way, the white, that's the way that's the first thing your eye is drawn to is him. Because we should always be drawn to him first, you know. And um, I don't have a problem painting the clouds white. Cause it's like heavenly you know so him and the clouds so yeah man appreciate you guys hanging out with me um stephanie heard about the art class with so what are you thinking of painting in our paint night <laughs> um i'm not sure what i'm gonna paint yet it'll be something easy that anyone can do because i want to do it for the family so that way kids can do it so most likely it'll be some kind of silhouette style painting. Um, those are quick and easy and uh, not complicated. And if that's something people like, then then we'll just, you know, do more, you know, after that. So I don't know. I got to think about it. Uh, I'll probably have double cameras set up that way because Sharon's going to be doing it, too. So I'll have a camera here with me, and wherever Sharon is set up, there'll be a camera with her so I can switch back and forth, you know. So that way you can see what I'm doing. And Sharon, who has never painted hardly, ever, um, you can kind of see what she's doing. So, um, Calvary. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's it. I don't know how long I've been on so far, but... I appreciate you guys, man. Thanks for sticking around. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, the new one. It's David Rocha Art. Subscribe to it, and that'll that'll just... I appreciate that, you know. So I guess that's it. Hopefully you guys watched the devotional this morning. If you haven't, please watch it. And uh, if you didn't get a chance to see the Bible study last night, uh, please take some time and watch that. Uh, I think they're real good. Oh, yeah, I got to put that in water. So, uh, but that's it, guys. Um, I'll probably finish this on my own later on. I still got to finish. See, I got to finish this by, my goal is to finish, complete it by today. And then there's one behind. I, you guys probably see me work on it, too. Wait, oh, you can't see it. It's behind that canvas back there. 
Can you? See that blue one back there? I got to finish that one. I was almost done also. So that's my, that's my plan today to finish both of these paintings. That way tomorrow I can take them both in to get scanned so I can get prints done of both of them. If you are interested in this one, it's going to be in print for 225 custom frame. All you got to do is email uh, davidrochaart at gmail.com. And let me know. I'm only making 25 so far. As far as I know, there's two people interested. So that's two gone already. So there'll be 23 left after that. And each one comes with a certificate of authenticity. And um, that's about it. So look, look, keep looking for that flyer. Either today or tomorrow we'll do that flyer for the art. It'll be on a weekend night. Uh, and that's it. All right, guys. Oh, spider coming down right on my face. What the heck? That was weird. Um, all right, guys.